The Cambridge Biomedical Campus, located at the southern end of Hills Road on the southern edge of Cambridge, England, is the largest centre of health science and medical research in Europe. Managed by the University of Cambridge, the site is funded by organisations such as the Cambridge University Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust, the Wellcome Trust, Cancer Research UK, the UK Government's Medical Research Council and has National Institute for Health Research Biomedical Research Centre status. It is an accredited UK academic health science centre, Cambridge University Health Partners, and home to Addenbrooke's Hospital and the university's medical school. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Constituent Institutes. The Cambridge Biomedical Campus is home to the following institutes. Topic: <inaudible> Addenbrooke's Hospital. Addenbrooke's Hospital is a large teaching hospital and the central focus of the campus. Topic: <inaudible> New Papworth Hospital Papworth Hospital is due to move to new premises on the Cambridge Biomedical Campus in spring 2019. AstraZeneca <inaudible> 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 AstraZeneca's global research and development facility is due to be based on the campus and will house a workforce of approximately 2,000 individuals. It will be home to both early and late stage medicines discovery and development, and cover both small molecules and biologics. Research activities will span all preclinical functional groups, including antibody engineering, medicinal chemistry and high-throughput screening. <laughs> University of Cambridge School of Clinical Medicine The University of Cambridge Medical School, established in 1976. <laughs> MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology The LMB is a molecular biology research institute funded by the UK Medical Research Council. It was founded in Cambridge in 1947 as the unit for research on the molecular structure of biological systems and moved to a site adjacent to Addenbrooke's Hospital in 1962. A 27,000 square meters replacement building close to the previous site was completed in 2012 and opened in May 2013. The laboratory has won nine Nobel Prizes, including the 1962 Prize Physiology or Medicine awarded for the discovery of the double helix structure of DNA. Topic. Wellcome Trust, Medical Research Council Cambridge Stem Cell Institute The Wellcome Trust Medical Research Council Cambridge Stem Cell Institute or SCI is a virtual organization composed of the Anne McLaren Laboratory for Stem Cell Biology and Regenerative Medicine and the Wellcome Trust Center for Stem Cell Research, as well as university-based principal investigators working in neighboring Cambridge institutes whose research is primarily focused on stem cell biology and or translation. The SCI is principally funded by the Wellcome Trust and the Medical Research Council. The Wellcome Trust also funds the SCI's internationally competitive four year PhD program in stem cell biology and medicine. 
Stem cell biology and regenerative medicine research is a designated University of Cambridge strategic initiative. The aims of the SI are to make fundamental discoveries that provide new insights into stem cell function and potency, to understand the role of stem and progenitor cells in disease and thereby to improve diagnosis and treatment, to harness the capacity of endogenous stem and progenitor cells for repair and regeneration, to exploit stem cells as tools for studying the molecular pathogenesis of human diseases and discovery of therapeutic agents. To nurture future generations of stem cell scientists and clinical investigators in an intellectually invigorating mix of basic and translational research. The SCI was formed in 2012 following an £8 million investment by the Wellcome Trust and the Medical Research Council. The SCI will eventually be housed in a purpose built 8,000 square metres facility to be constructed on the Cambridge Biomedical Campus site. <coughs> Cancer Research UK Cambridge Institute The Cancer Research UK Cambridge Institute is one of four core funded Cancer Research UK institutes and a department of the University of Cambridge. In 2018, the department received an annual budget of £45 million, £27.8 million of which came from Cancer Research UK. The institute offers highly competitive PhD programs, both studentships and clinical research training fellowships for aspiring clinical academics, attracting applicants from the UK and around the world. Cancer Research is a designated University of Cambridge strategic initiative. Research in the institute focuses primarily on tumor ecology and evolution, with investigations across four main areas Basic research, which involves looking into the cellular and molecular biology of cancer. Research into molecular imaging, genomics, bioinformatics and biomolecular modeling. Research that focuses on specific cancer sites, forming a bridge between the clinical and laboratory areas. Clinical investigations and trials, including population-based studies into screening and prevention. The center was officially opened by Queen Elizabeth II in February 2007. In 2018, Professor Gregory Hannan was announced as the new director, taking over from Professor Simon Tavare, senior group leader at the Institute. Professor Richard Gilbertson is the director of the Cancer Research UK Cambridge Centre, a network that encourages local collaborations between universities, NHS hospitals, and other research organisations. Topic. Cambridge Institute for Medical Research The CIMR is a cross-departmental institute in the University of Cambridge, receiving funding from the Wellcome Trust. Research is focused on four main areas, misfolded proteins and disease, intracellular membrane traffic, autoimmune disease and hematopoietic stem cell biology. <laughs> Wolfson Brain Imaging Center The Wolfson Brain Imaging Center was created in 1995 to develop and apply advanced imaging methods to patients with traumatic brain injury. It is unique in being co-located with the Neurosciences Critical Care Unit of Addenbrooke's Hospital. Since its establishment it has become an internationally leading positron emission tomography and magnetic resonance imaging center. Wolfson 
Topic: Hutchison MRC Research Center. The Hutchison MRC Research Center is a cancer research center housing researchers from the University of Cambridge Department of Oncology, the MRC Cancer Cell Unit, and the University of Cambridge. Cambridge Molecular Therapeutics Program. It was built in 2001 with funding from the Medical Research Council and a donation to the University of Cambridge from Hutchison Wampoa Limited. The Hutchison MRC Research Centre is a member institute of the Cambridge Cancer Centre, a virtual organisation of Cambridge researchers whose work has current or potential application to cancer research. Topic: <laughs> Rosie Maternity Hospital. The Rosie Hospital is Cambridge's first purpose-built maternity hospital, opened in October 1983. A multi-million pound extension of the Rosie Hospital was completed in 2012. Topic: <laughs> MRC Mitochondrial Biology Unit. The MRC Mitochondrial Biology Unit is a department of the School of Clinical Medicine of the University of Cambridge, funded by the Medical Research Council. It is focused on research to understand mitochondrial process and their involvement in human diseases. It is co-located with the Cambridge Institute for Medical Research in the Wellcome Trust, MRC building. Topic: Institute of Metabolic Science. The Institute of Metabolic Science (IMS) is dedicated to research, education, prevention, and clinical care in the areas of diabetes, obesity, and related metabolic and endocrine diseases. The Institute is a is a joint venture between the University of Cambridge, the Medical Research Council, Cambridge University NHS Hospitals Trust and the Wellcome Trust. It is led by co-directors Professor Sir Stephen O'Rahilly and Professor Nick Wareham. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Brain Repair Center Adjacent to the Institute of Public Health, Cambridge Centre for Brain Repair is a subsidiary of the University of Cambridge Department of Clinical Neurosciences. It is a research institute aiming to understand, and eventually to alleviate and repair damage to the brain and spinal cord which results from injury or neurodegenerative disease. Topic: Institute for Public Health. The Institute for Public Health is a partnership between the University of Cambridge, the Medical Research Council, and the National Health Service. It was created in 1993 to study disease in the population and to identify, evaluate, and monitor public health care interventions. Topic: University Technical College Cambridge The University Technical College Cambridge is a new secondary school for 14 to 18 year olds offering GCSE, BTech and A level courses. It opened on the 8th of September 2014 in the Deakin Centre. 
On Friday, 19 September 2017, it moved into its own building on Robinson Way, situated next to the Long Road Sixth Form College, parallel to the biomedical campus which encompasses Addenbrooke's Hospital, rebranded as Cambridge Academy for Science and Technology. Other Other entities located on the Cambridge Biomedical Campus include Institute for Diabetes, Endocrinology and Metabolism GlaxoSmithKline Clinical Research Unit MRC Center for Protein Engineering National Blood Service Strangeways Research Laboratory <laughs>